So, this came out earlier today. Sorry for not being able to do it. I just, I actually have a life, unlike some of these other people that do this stuff, but whatever. Uh, uh, patch notes came out. So, we have Sludge on Wheels, old 2.5 to 2.4, Waste Remover, uh, 7.7 to 5.7. These are actually a little impactful for Wild. Sludge Warlock, not an amazing deck in Wild by any means, but it's still playable. It was a playable deck. Uh, I've played against it a handful of times. This definitely makes it unplayable in Wild, though. Uh, there's, it, it's too slow. You're not getting, you know, 3 mana 7-7 seven, seven on top of a 4 mana 7-7 seven, seven with the location. It just killed the deck in Wild. Chaos Creation, you didn't run this card in Wild, so you don't have to care about it. It's uh, 5 cost, 5 cards, 5 damage, instead of 6. Mm, who cares? Uh, Shattered Reflection, choose a non-Titan minion and add a copy of your deck in Battlefield. This was good and standard because you would just like play uh, three titans, you get a full board, draw your hand, get mana back, all this junk. Way too strong and wild, it doesn't matter. Uh, changing it to non-titan doesn't change anything. If the card will eventually see play, because it probably will based on the effect, uh, you're not going to use it with the titan anyway, so it doesn't affect the card for wild. Blind Eye Sharpshooter, four mana from three mana, stats don't matter. Uh, this is pretty significant. The card is uh, a lot slower in quest. Uh, it's just you can't play you can't play a non-quest version anymore. That's for sure. Uh, I don't think you care much about playing this card anymore now that it's four mana. It feels pretty bad, but kind of upsetting that they killed the only playable Demon Hunter deck in standard and didn't give it any compensation buffs as a class, because you're going to see these next cards, they're not very important. Uh, now here are the buffs. Blight Blood Berserker is 7 mana from 8 mana. Don't think this makes any difference for Wild. You don't run this in big uh, Shaman, and even if you did, the mana cost change doesn't do anything. From the other side, you don't really play this in... Uh, wild either and the thing is no now that it is nine mana instead of ten it's a lot it is significantly better uh you play one turn earlier i don't think you're really ever playing this but it's definitely not as bad as it was i guess the reason you don't really care for this card even in like for fun is because they nerfed the interaction with fate spinner if the interaction with fate spinner was still around this deck would still be fun and something you play but doesn't exist anymore, so you just are screwed. Next, we have Harkner of Dread. Uh, old Taunt de summon a, or Death Rattle summon a 6-6 six, six undead with Taunt. New Taunt Reborn Death Rattle summon a 4-4 four, four undead with Taunt. So they nerfed the undead that gets summoned, but because that's Reborn, it will summon 2, which is a lot better. Uh, again, I don't think you really play this in Wild. Not because the card is bad, it's more just like decks like this aren't going to do anything in Wild for Shaman. So you just kind of can't really do anything with it. On its own, this is a pretty fine card, actually. Uh, it gives you a crazy amount of stats. You get 2-1 and a 2-2, and then you get two four fours all with Taunt. That's actually like a lot of stats. I think other classes would play this card if it weren't Shaman. But that's kind of the issue with a lot of classes is, oh, these cards are pretty terrible in the class, but... They'd be good in another class. Scourge Tamer going from a one mana two two to a one, or sorry a two mana two two to a one mana one two. Uh, the, this is an interesting card. I don't know how it works in Wild because the way it works in Standard is different. In Standard, there is a set pool of cards that is only Standard beasts, and then a set pool of cards that is only wi that is Wild beasts. If this is the Standard version, this card is really good. If it's the Wild version, it's bad. It's the same reason why Deathstalker Rexar is a bad card, is the Wild pool is too significant, it's too large, and it's very, very terrible. But the Standard pool is a lot better. There is so many less minions, and it makes the card, you know, actually was playable in Standard. Uh, if this does have the standard pool, this card is actually pretty decent in a lot of decks. You play this in Reno Hunter just because you need a one drop. Um, you play this in like any kind of XL Hunter. It's just a pretty decent card. Uh, I hope that it has the standard pool. And if it does, then I will be playing this card myself, personally. Uh, Coliscar Commander. It's a... It gets plus one, plus one from a 2-6 to... <coughs> sorry, a 3-7. And of course, if you've cast three spells while holding this, uh, holding this, summon two copies of this. 
this card is mediocre. I mean, you don't really play this in standard even, so why would you play it in wild? Plus one, plus one is not good enough effect for what this card does. It's just not a very good card. Deal with the devil. Uh, instead of summoning... Oops. Instead of summoning... Uh, three three threes with no minions in your deck, you summon four three threes with life steal. Uh, it's okay at best. I don't think you really run this in wild. If they had rush, yeah, it would be a crazy card. But you know, five mana to summon four three threes, life steal doesn't really make much of a difference. It is not amazing, especially because that late in the game, most classes are doing things proactively or can reactively deal with your board. It's just not an amazing card. Top of the idol. 5 mana, 4 mana. I think this is actually pretty significant. You can play this in like a Reno Demon Hunter. And like half of your cards cost 5 or more mana. Yeah, I think you understand why 4 mana deal 5 to all minions is pretty good without a real downside. Um, I think this card might see some play in Wild. I'm not... Obviously Reno Demon Hunter is a pretty terrible deck, but it is what it is. Mark of Scorn. Uh, draw a card. If it's not a minion, deal 4 damage to the lowest health enemy. This is pretty nice. It uh, matches up with... Uh, what's it? Fel Blast? Fel Barrage, sorry. Matches up with Fel Barrage a lot better, uh, since they both deal 4 damage. This is a pretty good card. Uh, Spell Demon Hunter is like okay in Wild. It's not an amazing deck, but you can play it. Definitely helps a lot for the deck. I'd like to see what we can do now that we have, like, better breakpoints on the cards like this, and it just deals more damage base. French Surveyor. It goes from 2 mana, 3, 2, to a 1 mana, 2, 1. Uh, about to cry, dread, if it's a mech, draw it. Significantly better. Cutting the cost in half for a 1 mana that draws 1 card. Great. Uh, you can, if you hit it with Galvanizer, if you hit it with whatever the three mana spell is. I don't know what it's called, actually. Uh, you feel a lot better because now it's free, and cards costing zero versus cards costing one is a significant difference. Energy Shaper, the cards cost two. Now they cost three. Uh, I don't actually know if that does anything at all. Energy Shaper was pretty much just a gigantic meme card, but, you know, maybe that does anything i i couldn't tell you this card seems pretty it's just a bad card in wild so i don't see how this changes anything sunken sweeper it's generated by a shard and sweeper three mana uh three four put this at the bottom of your deck and then the dredge if you dredge to get it you get battle cry add three mechs to your hand they cost one less now uh that's a significant buff for so mech decks and wild are pretty unplayable right now now that Mech Warper is gone, and they're probably not going to return Mech Warper without, like, a change. Uh, I don't know, maybe even ever, because the card is basically locked to Twist, and you can't play it anywhere else, which is really funny. And it's not unplayable when Twist goes away, which is really funny. Uh, other than that, like, this is a fine effect. If, if Obviously, if you could play this card, like, without having to play this, it's better. Uh, the original version is a lot better than that Trench Surveyor costs one, but... You don't really care about like three mechs to your hand in uh, mech mage usually you just like kind of kill your opponent on like turn four it's kind of disgusting serious visitor i reduce the cost of cards copy from your opponent by two up to three uh this makes thief rogue sorry thief priest actually pretty decent and wild i'm not gonna lie you steal like a bunch of cards uh you discount your whole hand it's really funny it's not great it's a pretty bad deck but it's funny, and it's definitely something worth playing. I think it'd be very fun to watch. Uh, Incriminating Psychic, it gives you two cards now instead of one. Kind of goes the same thing. Uh, meh. I mean, this is a much better card than this, but it's not an amazing card. You don't really run it anywhere. I don't think it changes anything for Wild, but it's definitely funny. Hook Tusk, 7 mana, 7-7 seven, seven from 8 mana, 8-8. Eight, eight. Minus 1 mana, minus 1 pirate. Uh, this is really awesome. There are hook, hook Tux desks in Wild have been fun to see for a long time. They're obviously terrible, but it's really funny to see. 
now that it's one mana cheaper, one condition easier, uh, you'll probably see people playing this a lot more. Will it be as, it will it be better? Not really, but it's just very funny to see. And then lastly, Demolition Renovator. 4 mana 4-4 four, four to 3 mana 3-3. Three, three. This is actually pretty significant. Um, for a tech card to go down and cost like this, it makes it like able to be ran a lot more decks. We're not... It's very likely we will see more locations coming out of the game. Actually, it's obvious we're going to see more locations eventually. So tech or Demolition Renovator always just gets better and better, like especially if we get very, very powerful locations. People have been uh, running this, not amazingly, to deal with Prison of Yogg and Standard since it came out. <coughs> Sorry. So a card like this being uh, buffed is just... If we ever have two strong locations, it'll be a very valuable tech card because it's three mana and not something like five mana. Uh, going through, there's nothing else too crazy, just some battlegrounds changes. Bug fixes were... Uh, it's only really this. Fix a bug where the Fearing, the Pestilent, and the Hearth's Iconic Druid Hand didn't gain armor when played. So, uh, that was actually really annoying. I've had it happen to me a couple times. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, not something you want. You know, when you're playing a 7-mana card that is supposed to give you armor, it just doesn't. Uh, other than that, changes that don't really affect Wild too crazy much. There's like one or two of these that are like annoying, but that's kind of it. Like, what was it? These are the only ones that really matter for Wild, I think. Sludge on Wheels and Waste Remover. They're just worse. And then the deck was already not amazing to begin with, and that just completely kills it. Alright, if you enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and then peace.